Yeah, it's really a good question. Um, she was asking about um, why there were people on the beach uh, kind of with the crabs and then um, uh, a little bit about how uh, horseshoe crabs are used in um, science and medicine. Um, so I was grateful to uh, be able to go out with the New York Audubon Society. Um, the beach was actually closed to the public because of um, its destruction in, in uh, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, all of the, the sand was lifted and kind of placed into the parking lot, so the beach was closed to the public. But the Audubon Society had access because uh, they do an annual count of the horseshoe crabs um, to determine their population because uh, migrating birds from South America, uh, through South America to Canada, actually stop over along the eastern seaboard, and particularly in New York, and uh, they feast on the eggs of the horseshoe crabs, that, when the female horseshoe crabs lay the eggs in the sand. Uh, so it's like a, a source of uh, protein for the long journey for them. Um, so uh, they were going out with headlamps um, and counting the crabs every night, and uh, I think it worked well for the film because uh, the headlamps uh, were streaked across the frame in time lapse uh, because uh, the film was shot with a series of long exposures um, using the ambient city light and moonlight uh, during the full moons. Um, and then I, I guess the horseshoe crabs have this incredible blood that is blue and um, it's actually harvested um, for uh, uh, it, 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 I'm not quite sure, but it, it, it's used in uh, testing. Uh, they develop the blood 